What's going on everybody? Welcome to, I guess this is Baker Builds vlog number one. Well, yeah, number one. Um, it's still gonna be, have to do with fishing and or building baits. It's just not necessarily gonna be tutorials. And if anybody can think of something better than vlog, I'll do a giveaway. And maybe we'll pick out something here in the shop in a minute to see what that would be. It's just a, a video blog of making baits or showing behind the scenes on stuff. Today we're going to assemble that uh, wake bait I made for Matt. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you've seen that. So I'm gonna do that right now, and then we're gonna meet up with Matt later, go give it a toss. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I went to Lowe's this morning, and I needed, I got some things, but the main thing I needed was a nice two-part epoxy to glue in the eyelets on. Got it in my pocket. This bad boy right here. Like I said, I got the videos of building this one on TikTok and Instagram. And then this is like, oh, there goes the tail. This is like V2 of uh, the pattern I'm gonna have for you guys. So current pattern, uh, I didn't quite have the holes for the weights in the correct spot. So I'm gonna get that fixed on the new pattern. I'm gonna finish carving this bait, make sure it runs good, and then we'll be able to do that video. But first, gonna glue in the eyelets for Matt's bait, that way it'll have time to dry. Uh, what I'm using are, they're called, I think they're called bait pins. Uh, it's just these little wires, a hook on the end. I like using these on my bigger baits, I think it looks pretty clean. If you don't have those, you can get, and I also picked up some more of that this morning. So 19 gauge galvanized steel wire. You wanna make sure it's something galvanized. Uh, it's not just like the raw metal or the rust. You can also use that, which is what I'm gonna be doing in that YouTube video, since most people are gonna have access to a Lowe's or a Home Depot. So I'm gonna get this glued together. That way it can have time to dry, and then we'll start working on this one, or I'm gonna work on it, and then we'll see where the day goes. All right, got it done. And of course now it's raining outside, but me and Matt are still gonna meet up and give this bad boy a toss. Uh, I always hate doing gluing in the eyelets. I always feel like I make a mess, but I mean, it's on there, so that's what matters. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep cleaning up the shop. I'm gonna wait for Matt. And now that it's raining, got my raincoat on because I was just in the house. So I guess I will see you guys whenever we meet up with Matt. This is my buddy Matt. If you guys are following me on TikTok or Instagram, you know him. If you're just from YouTube, this is my buddy Matt. What's and up, guys? <laughs> we got the bait and it's raining. So he's going to tie it on and we're going to see what happens. Do a little Palomar knot. Ooh, yeah. Actually, do it down, bend it, boom. around the hook. Alright, since it's raining you don't really have to wet it, but I like to wet it. Pull the tag in down. There we go. Perfect. Let's see. Look at the freaking paint. Like I said, I think it's going to sink a little more than we wanted it to, but... <laughs> Turns almost all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> Is that hard to see? Come on. 
When you got closer, I could see it. Look at that. That's, that's sick. Sweet. Dude, that's dope. So I mean I'd say so is it is it sink too fast, you think? Maybe a hair. Okay. But like at the like at the lake and stuff, it's okay. For for fishing like stuff like this. Right. Like it, here's the thing, if I want sometimes those fish want it quicker. Like i I mean this there's a time for this. Right? Well right, right. Like I mean actually it's actually not even look if you hold your rod tip up. You know? Yeah. Get right, see how I get it right under that surface? Oh, yeah. So, I had made it when I sent you guys that Snapchat. Yeah. And then, I don't know what... I, I guess I didn't have it sealed very good, so when I kept putting in my tank, water was, like, soaking into the wood. Uh -huh. So oh, I had okay. it sinking stupid fast. Like, I would yeah. drop it and just go, bam, and hit the bottom. Yeah. So I, like, drilled out a whole bunch of weight till I had it sinking really slow. And then the next day, came in there... Or, no, I assembled it, went and threw it in the water, and it was floating. So yeah. I was like, what the heck? So then I like sealed it better, yeah. made sure it was dry, sealed it better, and then yeah, and then did it again. But now it's... And it's not heavy, like it's not heavy. Like yeah, that one's super thin. I love it. Uh, the smaller version I'm making for Slim yeah. and for the YouTube yeah. is, uh, I'm gonna do it, see if it looks a little bit thicker, because I kind of like it when they, they look fatter. Yeah, that's cool nice. too, for sure. But for a bait that big, trying to keep it lightweight, that's a, yeah. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it really looks great. It's always a good feeling when it works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that works. It, it, it looks like you guys are rolling around out there, like, like when you pop it. Yeah, I'll try getting my... Uh, yeah, I like that color too. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think if I can make it sink a little bit slower here, honestly, like, for some things, so like I said, like, when I'm on a reservoir at the lake, I kind of want that to get a little faster. Right. You know? Well, you're fishing a little bit deeper right. water, too. Exactly. Sort of like a pond. And the other thing is, too, when you're fishing in cold water, you do kind of want to, like, let it really sit. Right. But look, so if I pull my rod up like this. It doesn't, yeah, it looks really cool. good. I like how, I mean, I guess you were reeling really slow. That it was, was just real yeah. slowly. And that's, like, and I feel like that's the time for sure for that. You know, so we do a little right. bit of quick ones and then let it fall. Like yeah, that looks and so then, good. Yeah, <laughs> that looks really good. So yeah. compared to your other one, does your other one go wider or slow or sink slower? Honestly, it's about, it sinks slower. A sink little slower. bit, I'll show yeah. you that, a little bit. Yeah. Not much though. And it might go, I don't know, honestly, dude, I don't know, dude. I guarantee you this will catch a giant. Absolutely. 100%. Like, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm probably stuttering all over the place. I'm so well, I'm excited, too, because it works. You, that, you know how many times I've brought baits out and, and oh, they didn't work? I'm sure. I'm sure. That's, and that's... <laughs> but this one, I, I have everything marked in, like, my pattern for it, so I should be able to replicate it. Right. It's just uh, to get it to sink slower is so hard because that's once what you... I think, yeah. One, so once you clear coat it, it makes it a little bit more buoyant, too. Yeah. So, but that one, what I want to do is get a tank that's a foot deep. Yeah. And then drop it in time to I, see, that way you can see how fast it sinks. Right. So then I clear coat it. If it sinks slower or faster, then I can know next time you need it to. For sure. In three seconds, hit the right. foot, a foot or something. Well, get I, it really precise. Like I was saying too, a lot of that, I, the water, when it's colder, I, I don't know, it's like it's denser and it changes the way it falls. Right. I have, I have some baits that in different temp water temps man they will they'll, they're way different it's crazy we were talking about that the other day at work about the jerk baits doing that too yeah. like they'll suck when the it's, water's warmer it's weird then, yeah yeah this thing is cool man look at like you just like if you're just cruising along slow like this and they do like a quick oh, you know yeah let me i'm gonna switch over to my phone so that way i can finish yeah. the video for TikTok too tip up a little bit too that way it's
just got home. And then uh, Matt sends me this. Look, I already caught a fish on it. I already caught a fish. I would have, you know, might have been better if we waited till tomorrow <laughs> since I just glued those in. But hey, caught a fish. I'll put the picture up on the screen. That way you guys can see it a little bit better. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go finish my lunch and then we'll work on some more baits. So one thing I figured out trying to film a vlog is I'm not very good at vlogging. I actually started filming this well over a week ago. I think it was actually two weeks ago. But uh, since then, Matt has caught several fish on that bait. I will post the photos at the end of this video so you guys can see them. Also, I didn't post a video the weekend of uh, Halloween because I broke the tip on my airbrush. So this is kind of like a little fair warning to you all. I had clogged the very tip of this and I had taken it off and I got it cleaned out and I was putting it back on there. I tightened it too much and broke it, broke it off where the threads were inside there. And this is my little airbrush with the details. The other one I had is just, uh, I think it's the 0.5 mm needle so it really blows out paint uh, but I end up ordering another airbrush I'm gonna use this one for a while and then do a review on it it has like a little micro air adjuster which so far I'm kind of liking but I want to make sure that the airbrush works good before I do a video on it also if you guys are watching this video that means you get a little sneak peek at some upcoming lure painting videos we're doing some trout that's all you're gonna get to see aside from the other one's in the background. Maybe I'll hide it. So I really want to start making like a week to week vlog. I need to get better at it, obviously, because it was kind of like a two week vlog with like one day of footage. I did have other footage where Matt and Slim came over and they were carving their own baits. And I, of course, deleted it on accident. Thought I'd already moved it over to my hard drive, but I didn't. Oh, well, uh, this is vlog number one. If you guys can think of a better name besides vlog, we'll do a giveaway. We can do whatever bait on the wall you want and uh, we can go from there so comment below if uh, you can think of something better than the word vlog because i hate it if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you hate it you can give it a thumbs down that's okay i'll probably still be making more also trout videos are coming out it's probably going to be tomorrow or the next day i'll have part one it's gonna be a four part series four part series three different paintings and one where we do like a little shadow box thing so be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will catch you later. That would hurt somebody's car. Not all here is where it keeps. <laughs>